With this movie, we'll take a real general view of the tools palette because each tool has its own unique characteristics that we'll get into in additional movies. The most important takeaway from this movie right here is the fact that the tools palette shown over on the left hand side changes and is dynamic based upon something that is selected over here on the right hand side in the layers palette. We've got a scene where a character comes into the scene and it's been pre-rigged, pre-built, and in fact it's been pre-animated. But watch what happens to the tool palette over here as I select a different item inside this layers palette. If I select this top layer which has a bone with it and the name of the character robot, when I click on that, suddenly over here on the left side we have more tools to choose from inside the bone tool category. We also have some layers tools, some camera tools, and then changes to the workspace right here. However, if I come to labels and I disclose this layer, then we've got this on off type of item right here. If I click on this, watch the tool palette, I click and suddenly we've got all these drawing tools that take place. So if you get into the program and start going, this tool was here just a second ago, what you can see and cannot see is based upon items that occur over here in the layer set itself. Let me show you what I mean. I'll come up to File, New. This creates a new tabbed document. So our old document is shown over here in a tab. It's unnamed also since it's one of the launch state documents. But now we have a new area to work within that has nothing over here except a single layer. This little icon over here is the symbol for a vector layer. If we were going to create a new or drawing layer, you can think of it that way. There's other layers that expose these other tools over here in the tools palette. If we choose the little layer symbol with a plus sign, we can duplicate that layer. If we come over to this other little layer item and click here, we've got these options for vector, image, group, bone, switch, and so forth. Each one of these has different abilities and different tool sets that show up with them. So for any type of drawing you do in the program, you'll use and choose a vector layer. I'll choose that. We now have three vector layers right here. I'm not going to rename that, but that gives us access to all of our tools over here. All of our fill tools, this little item here, the fill area is connected over to the style palette. And then we've got our layer tools, which is how the layer itself, this area that we see inside this lavender box is represented. So the tools palette to create stuff, to make stuff, is right here. It changes on the tools you have selected over here. Bones for rigging characters to move. The drawing tools for shapes that you work with. How the camera interacts with the scene. And that's the tools palette.